My name is Keith Mazza. Most of you know me as Sifu Keith. Welcome to our channel. Hey everyone, Sifu Keith here. Today we'd like to introduce you to the Silum Tau form, the first section of it. I'd like you to take through some of the application and how it's used and why we use it in a certain way. So Silum Tau being the first form, or Tao Lu in Chinese, in Wing Chun. It basically translates the little idea. But before we start that, I'd like to make sure, please hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell to always, this way you'll always be notified on our new and upcoming videos. So please sit back, enjoy, and remember guys, any questions you have, please leave comments below and I will get back to you. The form here is called Heisik, means to raise the form. You raise the fist, draw the elbows back, and it's a reverse elbow strike, Dai Jam. We sink, this is known as Chum, Chum is to sink. Shun Gurk, circle leg, Shun Gurk. So here the Yiji Kunyama, remember the knees in, pelvis up, grab the ground with your toes. Dai Gan, Sun Gan, and remember this determines our center and central line. Form the fist, reverse elbow strike. Noi Mun Chui, punch. Here, Shun Sao, grab from the fist, Dai Jam. Noi Mun Chui. Yun Sao, form the fist, Dai Jam. Tan Sao, open up dispersing hand, drives through the center and out. Yun Sao, Jut Sao, Jut Sao, guiding hand. Wu Sao, guarding hand. Down to Fak Sao, controlling hand. Yun Sao, circle hand, Jut Sao, guiding hand. Wu Sao, guarding hand. Fox out. Three. Shun Jut. Wu Sao. Fox out. And four. Poi Pak. Drop the elbow down. Che Jun. Shovel palm to the chin. Yun Sao. Dai Jam. Repeat on the right. Pan Sao. Yun Sao, Jun Sao, Wu Sao, Fox Sao, Yun Sao, Jun Sao, Wu Sao, Fox Sao, Yun Sao, Jun Sao, Wu Sao, Fox Sao, Yun Sao, Jun Sao, Wu Sao, Poi Pak. So in the Silum Dao opening to fist, once you form the stance, let's look at how and why you would use it. So we bring the elbow in the center, we punch, we circle here called Lao Sao, we slip around, and then we repeat the process on the opposite side. So let's look at a fighting application of that because when you do a form, not that you fight with forms, but you should be able to pull each piece out and understand how to use it. So now the form becomes alive. You put some proper jing into how you're going to apply the form. So Keith, come out, please. So we'll take this first one parallel, lining up, and what do we do? The first thing is I punch. I punch, and as soon as Keith blocks here, this is your first piece of chi sao. Remember, energy that's not directed at you, we release. So I'm going to lao sao around, and my wu sao is up, just in case he follows through. All right, so again, I'm going to punch. Lao Sao around, I'm going to check here and then follow up with a second punch. So the first application we use a punch, Lao Sao, check and punch. Punch, Lao Sao, and then punch again. You can actually do that twice. I can come from here, I can punch, Lao Sao, punch. If he blocks the second one, I'll slip around again, take it to a trap, and punch. That's the first series of punch, Lao Sao, punch. So again, punch, Lao Sao around, Hox out. Check and punch, Lao Sao around, pock and punch. A variation to this, after I punch, is to bring the Wu Sao forward, punch. If Keith blocks, I can now take that same move and turn it to a Yun Sao. Come across, check and punch. So that circle is still the same. Coming through the center, I punch. Wu Sao comes up, checks his hand. I fire in. I take my hand, I open up that Yun Sao, pin to the body, and check and punch. Two applications to Silum Dao opening to fist. Remember, when you do the form, 
You should really be looking in your mind's eye, what, for application. So here, the tonsil, wrist goes into center. Once the wrist breaks center, I drive my elbow into center. So with the elbow being in the center, the wrist is slightly off center. This little pathway here, when I make contact with my opponent, it's what drives his arm away. Okay, circle around. This movement here is called a Lao Sao. I move into a Wu Sao position or a guarding hand. So to, without confusing people, anything circular in Chinese is called Xun Sao. But in this aspect, when I touch his arm, I'm gonna slip around. So when you use the word yun sao, it tends to denote that I'm using a force to move somebody. Lao sao means to slip or run around. So again, tan sao goes into center, drive the elbow into center. I come out, I circle around to wu sao. On the opposite side, wrist, elbow into center, driving forward. And from here, circle around, wu sao, guarding hand. So let's look at an application. To do a form without understanding an application to me is almost a waste of time. This way you'd understand where to manifest the Jing, the type of Jing you need to employ, and you really understand why you're doing what you're doing. So we're gonna take this from a right side neutral. You can take it from a flat neutral, you can take it from a front stance, but because we're at level one, we're gonna go nice and slow. We're gonna go from a side neutral. Keith is gonna throw a round punch at me. So my Wu sound, go slow. I'm driving that Wu Sao up through the center. I'm facing my point of contact here. My Tan Sao's on the center, and here my punch is gonna be on the central line. So one more time. Just like in the center, in the Song Dao form, I drive this arm along the center line, push it out, punch along the central line. So remember, from here, touch one hand. You must always look at the other. People will do this, and they'll get punched right in the back of the head. So one more time. Once I make contact, I can interrupt here, put this down for a second. If he goes to throw that arm, my arm will automatically be able to cover and check it. So again, from here, ton and punch. I'm looking there just in case that hand comes and you can do anything you want. Bill, ton, whatever. Touch one hand, look at the other. Let's take another moment, throws that punch. Let's look at the chi out. When he throws the opposite arm, this arm is going to move. That's also another sign that I have to deal with this. So as this arm's going away, this arm's coming out. Again from here, the Tan Sao punch. Now, in the form, we circle around, and that's gonna cover. So the Lao Sao means to slip or run around. If I were using a Yun Sao, I would move his arm. Now to say Yun isn't wrong, it's just a different energy. So in Yun Sao, I'm using a force to move him. I can move from outside to inside, or inside to outside. So once again, Keith comes in, I'm gonna step out, throw the punch, slip around and check his arm. So that's just an application from the Tan Sao to move around. You can also use this, straight punch comes in, parallel, I can take the Tan Sao off the rear and cover with a straight punch. Opposite side, he comes in, cross arm, same thing, Tan Sao is on the center. Just remember that energy is always going forward. People tend to make a mistake. They do a tan sao and they push the arm out. No, my tan sao energy is going forward or tan means to disperse. I step off the line, but my energy is still going forward. So that's an application to give you basic understanding of the tan sao, slipping around to wu sao. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. And when you hit the subscribe button, please hit the bell notification to all so we can let you know as soon as we put out a new video. And we want you to know that we're here for you. So leave your comments below. We're going to get back to each and every one of you to make sure your questions get answered. And once again, thank you. We look forward to being your all things Wing Chun and more for many years to come.